world encircling sea serpent of Norse legend. What admirable hustle! The creature has disappeared. Probably whisked away by a government boat, lest we capture the beast on video. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. No one knows who built this mysterious underwater base, but odds are they probably own a Nehru jacket and a Persian cat. Back to ancient times, extraterrestrials have demanded animal sacrifices, and what they are not given, they take by force. The spectacle of a rampaging shark never fails to attract interest. Questers, whatever it is the shark caught scent of, the secretive Black Ops unit conspicuously called NWO has captured. What might be their nefarious plans? Oh, this city, like so many across our once great country, has become an Agenda 21 cesspool. The markings on this satellite suggest that it belongs to Site P, a top secret military compound, and perhaps the home base of these NWO troops. Unfortunately, I suspect there's more where that came from. Marine mammal parks are designed to anesthetize us from reality.
Regarding these spills, I'm proposing complicity on the part of Mayor Wade Hibbard. You see, Hibbard owns 50 shares in Schlumberg, who's owned by Exico, who are partners with Saxwell Gold in Varkon, the manufacturer of oil dispersant emulsifex. Therefore, Hibbard made money on the clean. This is the Plover Island Complex, commonly referred to as Site P. Whatever bizarre and dark depravity lurks within its bowels, we're about to find out. his human mask, the insectoid helmsman gazes with dicoptic eyes, and with pincers gnashing, proclaims his ship the Ship of Death. Again appear the great galleons of the global conspiratorial elite. The big fish seek shelter as the NWO shock troops assemble. The enemy's plans for a global fascist dictatorship are put on hold, for now.
This satellite is but one of millions in the villainous cabal's interstellar quantum communications hub. Anticipating a reprisal, the Predator flew. The NWO is still in hot pursuit. The fish must be cunning, because unlike her pursuers, she doesn't have a 5,000 horsepower engine. This footage could only be captured with the best professional grade Swedish drone cameras. She successfully evaded the New World shot troops, at least for the time being. Suppressed free energy source, the electric Great White. Electric Great Whites are one of this planet's great untapped natural energy sources.
shark decides to nourish herself on the local farm. For this battle can't be won on an empty stomach. I started this channel six months ago, only to be met with personal attacks by uninformed citizens like Bong Lord 69 who commented, what a dumb A-word, F-word, piece of S-word. Continue for several paragraphs. Revitalize ailing joints. Only Sharkovich has 1,000 potent milligrams in every capsule. And it's only from survival. A bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities.
It's clear that this orca has no loyalty in his country of origin. Only to raw, naked power. NASA's fraudulent Apollo 11 moon landing was necessary. Otherwise, the world would have seen the domes and spires of the insectoid's lunar base Vraxel. Threatens to execute Protocol 5. The New World Order has begun to amass its forces. Horrified at what she's already witnessed, the Predator lashes out against the Illuminist group's deceitful agenda. The enemy is thwarted by the force of righteous truth and must return again to plotting and scheming. If there's no such thing as targeted weather warfare, then why am I occasionally inconvenienced by rain, snow, 
an excessive cold or heat. I must warn you that as we venture further into the heart of darkness, you may be shocked by the atrocities unfolding before you. Block 50 users from commenting. This is just the sort of response I prepared for after dedicating myself to informing the masses about the real truth behind global events. The shark struggles to disentangle the Illuminist's web of fabrication and untruth. Extraterrestrial overlords retaliate out of fear of exposure. Many people believe that 300,000 years ago, the insectoids created humans to mine the Earth's gold. But this is absurd. They're clearly more interested in our copper reserves. Never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Top Brow says it's time to go home, NWO. The Dark Brotherhood withdraws to revitalize themselves with, one can only guess, the ritualistic drinking of human blood. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition.
Student Project graduate, the Shadow Worker. Knowing there's never any harmful fillers or additives. Just 100% for sinus work. It's premium cardiovascular support, and it's only from Survival. The shark has taken a keen interest in an electrical transform. That transformer must have been powering NASA's insidious Project Bluebeam. But how did the shark know? Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. The explosion has drawn unwanted attention. The patriotic Piscus must be swift to avoid capture. He should hurt as trespassing on military property could result in a six-month prison sentence.
I haven't seen a fish this wily since Babe Winkleman tried to catch that pike in northwestern Ontario. The Bull's Olfactory Center registers the sweet smell of freedom. Now we see what the NWO's been hiding. Inside sources have ascertained its name, Moloch. This devious aquatic bioweapon is designed to disperse a mist of viral particulate, a potent combination of Ebola, anthrax, and Lassa fever. Within weeks, it will spread from Port Clovis to infect the entire world. Then, Big Pharma will reveal that they've developed a vaccine. The price? Every country must submit to the Insectoid Brotherhood. We must stop them before they can implement their demonic program. Sunshine side effect, the bone sperm whale. Today, the whale and its big 17-pound brain proved to be just too much for the vicious but dim-witted shark. 
This was all funded with the government's black budget, a secretive fund that garners 33% of the United States GNP. sperm whale. Today, the whale and its big 17-pound brain proved to be just too much for the vicious but dim. I have reason to believe that somewhere inside this complex, government scientists are using the glandular secretions of alien humanoids to create a new virus. If you think herpes is bad, just wait until you contract Venusian herpes. The Bone Sperm Whale. Thank you. 
Today, the whale and its big 17-pound brain proved to be just too much for the vicious but dimwit. Site P features underground satellite tracking facility that can send a camera to your property within seconds. Their technology is now so sophisticated that they even know if you're browsing Marishka Hargitay on Wikifeed. sperm whale. Today, the whale and its big 17-pound brain proved to be just too much for the vicious but dim-witted. You can be assured that the cyclopic eye of Big Brother watches us as we watch him. sperm whale.
And only this shark is paying attention. Bravo Survivor, the irradiated bone sperm whale. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. 